I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca and here's your latest weather on demand forecast. The leaves finally have peaked across much of the UP, especially in the western UP now, where we're looking at 75 to 100 percent peak colors across the central, mainly southern portion of Marquette County, fully at peak. Areas close to Lake Superior, though, we're still talking about yellow, which is 25, as low as 25 percent, to close to half for peak colors there, but still nonetheless a beautiful time of the year to check out leaves wherever you are, especially though across the interior UP. And these leaves are not going to be hanging on the trees tomorrow because the winds are going to be gusting with really good force. And they are starting already, especially across the western UP. Houghton recording 15 miles an hour from the east. Notice the direction though easterly for a lot of cities between 5 to 15. For that, there is a wind advisory areas closest to Lake Superior, Marquette, Alger, Luce, and uh, I guess that would be it across the eastern UP as well. Uh, Mackinac County out of the viewing area, but still if you're traveling that direction, have some suspicions that there will be some impact to the Mackinac Bridge. So with that said, gusts are going to go between 40 to 45 miles an hour for the peak here of the wind, which will be from uh, 2 a.m. tomorrow through 5 p.m. in the evening on Sunday. And this is associated with a very strong area of low pressure which is still in Wisconsin right now, but bringing, starting to bring some bands of rain heavier. Notice this in the western UP, southwest UP, a pretty strong thunderstorm, say near Iron River. Elsewhere across upper Michigan, just mainly cloudy skies, but man, downstate they saw pretty good soaking rainfall going through Chicago right now and the really the rest of the Midwest. This is associated though with an area of low pressure right about here, just south of the Green Bay area, and a very elongated cold front extending all the way down pretty much to the Gulf of Mexico, extending with it a very potent line of showers and storms moving off to the east. And so what we see for us is that the clouds continue to thicken up overnight tonight, and especially once that low gets closer and makes a, its passage to us on the east, that's when we see the winds are at its strongest peak. But generally speaking, there will be a north-northeast flow to the winds tomorrow, gusting between 20 and 25 miles an hour for a good part of the day, at times though closer to 40 even close to 50, especially the farther north you live. And so here's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Notice the high pressure, uh, rather the low pressure system tightails it off to the east, doesn't stay very long with us, and then quickly departs as it's over Lake Huron by tomorrow evening. Still another band of soaking and even heavy rain across much of the UP. Not until really tomorrow evening we're talking about that de departing and mainly becoming partly sunny skies uh, towards the end of the evening, and then finally breaking up some of the cloud covers we head into Monday, but still these rainfall numbers may be just a bit on the conservative side as we see through tomorrow morning, 3.30, quarter of an inch stacking up to a half of an inch plus. This is by 10.30. So by far the most of the rain will fall first half of the day tomorrow, but so our computer models show between three quarters to an inch, especially off in the western UP. Heaviest stays downstate, but still could be looking at numbers closer to the one inch mark, especially north and west. So overnight tonight, temperatures dipping back to the 40s, holding pretty steady. Heavy soaking rain will be the story and definitely very windy as well. Tomorrow, temperatures don't budge that much. We stick to the 40s for a lot of cities. 46 to 52 will be the very narrow range, I'll say, for tomorrow, gusting over 45 miles an hour. Sustained 15 to 25. Your TV6 extended forecast, though, it does get better and actually much warmer as we progress through the third week of October. As temperatures rising into the 50s, Monday, Monday not a bad day, still cool, especially early. There will be some frost as well, and actually freeze for the interior UP. Look at the rest of the week though, 60s, and then yes, back to 70 by the end of the week, which is well above average by almost 15 degrees.